Hey guys, how's it going? So, I've been on a journey to do some self-improvement. I think we all should do that journey pretty consistently through our life, because uh, if you read my first book, Living on High Speed, you know that life's about change. And uh, I take that and embrace it pretty deeply. So, changes can be forced on you, or you can force changes to yourself uh, to create the world that you want. And that's the better option, because otherwise you get kind of lost in translation. So the most recent book that I'm actually enjoying and that's helping me pretty tremendously is this one, uh, Power of Focus, uh, Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Les Hewitt, uh, written in uh, 2000, I believe. Now, I'm not going to give you every gold nugget that's in here for this conversation. I'm just going to talk about two things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about that can be helpful for you, that's definitely helpful for me, is in here they talk about focusing and not being scatterbrained, uh, and I am. I'll just put that out there to the world right now. I have been historically what you call a shiny object syndrome sufferer, so I go, oh, this opportunity looks great, I'm going to go do it. <gasps> that one over there, how about this one, how about this one? And because of this, I've not been very successful at publishing the amount of books that I want to. I've got a couple out. I have not been successful at building big business. I've got a couple businesses. Uh, they're puttering along, and I make some decent money sometimes, and sometimes it falters. And a lot of this is because I'm not focusing. I want both of those things to go up, just as all of us do. So, I'm studying. Now, the two takeaways from this particular book that I'll talk about today are the ability to say no. Simple enough, right? It's not so simple sometimes. And the ability to delegate. Now, as a past telecommunications director, I was very good at delegating because I had a team, 100 people just doing stuff and things. But when I'm on my own doing my own business and it's me and my partner, just the two of us, there's nobody else. So I've taken on too much and I have a hard time saying no to tasks that are put in front of me and a hard time to delegate. I think I can do it all, so I do it all. But because of this, I'm not so great at it. So I'm getting better and books like this help. So the first thing that it tells me is that I have the right to uh, say no, even to the closest loved ones. You know, if it's not within this task, not within this vision, within this mission, that's going to take us down the road, then why do it? Why waste your time in doing it? And same thing, why scroll on social media? Why click like? Why all these things that we do? Why look at all the cat videos or the dog videos? For me, it's dogs, by the way. And so I have to learn to say no to all of this. Say no to the social media, no to the request from everybody. No to the phone. The phone's always vying for our attention. The other thing is the delegation side's a big deal for me. So what I'm learning through here is that I can delegate even if it's things I didn't think I could through mechanisms through vehicles like freelancer.com, Upwork, Fiverr. These types of things have people just begging for work, looking for work. They can do all kinds of things that you don't want to do and for not that much money. You know, so just budget in for it. Don't go out to the movie as often as you want or don't get the Starbucks or don't cut your hair as often. Don't pay for that cable bill if you're not watching TV, you know. Make a decision on where you can lose some money so you can hire resources to do stuff for you. For me, it was things like making banners for my YouTube channel or making thumbnails. Easy enough, fast enough, but the point is, is that when I do 100 easy, fast enough things, it just took up my entire day. So if I hire somebody to do this or I order a software that does automation for me, then I can effectively get things done faster, more efficiently, 
and duplicate myself. So that's really what we're talking about. So I'm going to make it short. If you want further tips like this, I'm going to keep reading books like this. I'm going to keep telling you what I'm finding out through it and if I recommend the book or not. So far, this book I recommend. All right. So like, subscribe. Let me know what you want, what you don't want. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. And is saying no and delegating an issue for you? Uh, if it's not, how have you overcome it? Let me know. Thanks, guys. Uh, this is Coach Scott. Peace out. Love you.